All right. And go. Hooray. How can a speedrunner survive on the island that Huffman has become? If you're mashing well, the text never appears. It's very good. Yeah, I hope nothing bad happens to Karen. Ah, shit. And she's gone and we'll never see her again spoilers well asterisk all right so that guy still has an arm so he'll still attack me Just like that. In this game, the one of the primary ways to get experience, of course, is to blow off multiple parts because you get a bonus. Like, not only do you get experience for blowing off, uh, you know, arms, legs, and the body, but you also get bonus, cause it's bonus experience for blowing off multiple. In fact, actually, I kind of, this is kind of a bad outcome because I didn't hit level two before exiting this level. Ideally, you would hit level two before you came out of here. Yeah, this is pretty atypical for me to try and do, but uh, I had an idea for a route and I tested it offline and it worked. So I decided to do it, <laughs> you know, why not? Th also this version, how do, oh, oh, is the, is this weather pattern officially a bomb cyclone? I have not seen that. I've, I've been feverishly reading the, the weather thread on something awful, but I've not seen them refer to it as a bomb cyclone. Yeah, thank you for the good luck, Archie. I will say this this version of Front Mission 1 is uh, like a thousand percent more speed runnable than past versions of this game because this version actually has uh, like battle animation skip. <laughs> the previous versions of this game did not and I would not I would not speed run this. Oh, but OK, well, you know, CNN, they're all about scandal. So we do actually get experience here. Grab that. Yo, hey, which seat? That's a difference from this version of the game and the other version of the game is that you actually get experience in that fight. All right, anyway, this guy sucks ass. He wants us to fight in the army and we agree because we're clown cheese. 
You know, it's funny. A lot of my a lot of my podcast friends are from like the the Midwest and like middle of the country, and so they have been <laughs> they have been struggling with the reality coming towards them. God. Oh shit! I was ready. This is like the one time in the game he's like, "Hey, are you ready?" Instead of just like giving you a briefing and telling you to get ready. Are there any exciting glitches or exploits? Uh, I, I would say here's my answer. My answer is that Front Mission, the original Front Mission, is not a particularly balanced or like well thought out game. <laughs> here's uh. The later games in the series really do a lot to iron out some of the some of the ex eccentricities of this game. So we're going to basically just be abusing the fact that this is just kind of a very abusable game. That's really all there is to it. There, I, as far as I know, there aren't any glitches. I don't have any glitches or exploits in the route. This is uh, your yeah. You might not want to go to Ohio this weekend. I don't know. <laughs> that might be. It's supposed to be like two inches of rain in Philly and then like freezing temperatures immediately after. Uh, I have not explained the category. Oh, so there are two campaigns in this game. Uh, one is the OCU campaign, which is the main campaign. And then there is the UCS campaign. Uh, those names just refer to the different super nations that you fight for in Front Mission. All right, so this is the mission where I'm actually going to be controlling more than just Roid. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Asterisk. Whatever, that first split. There's not even a mission complete for that one. Well, whatever. <laughs> ah, I'm all right. I'm. I think I just need to guard with them. I, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have killed him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the struggle is real. All right, let's just go ahead. I just gotta bait these clowns into the into the water. There we go. Yeah, the salt out is really what you're probably going to need to survive this. Ice melt. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not just the it's hot water so you can make it even icier. That's what that's what you really need. That's the essential. But yeah, this this level's gonna take a little bit because we need to get uh to get Roy up to the point where he can just hose enemies. What that means is spending a little bit of time here just letting him destroy stuff. And then also not killing other enemies with, with our units. Hey, 
There we go. Finally. I can see, I, I can probably get in some shots softening them up. I just don't want to get in. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I just can't attack with the rifle units. There we go. A bucket of chemicals. And my favorite thing to drink. What's nice is that this game doesn't make you take all your units in the battle or have like a, like there is one unit I'll have to bring into most battles, but uh, thankfully for the most part, I won't, I won't have to suffer that. Heard of you, I, I think I, maybe, oh wait, is that the one where you throw the, 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 the bucket of water into the freezing cold outside? Like the hot water into the, into the cold air? Is that the, or is this a different challenge? There we go, level three. That's <laughs> something I'll try. I mean, there you go. Oh, is it the people pouring cold water on themselves? I always think of the, um, the what are they? Was it? What was it called when you like hit a Smirnoff ice and like to someone to trick them? Was that just called like icing them? I hope someone knows what I'm talking about. Icing. There you go. Thank you, Idoc. You had to ice your bros with Smirnoff ice. Used to get absolutely wasted in the sugar and alcohol. I mean, there you go. Oh, we're about to harvest the shit out of this commander. I can't wait. Right, they expect him to find it, yeah. <laughs> yes. Frat boy PMC trilogy. That was that was me, folks. That was that was the real truth. EOCE was never this good. Ah. phase yeah that that is that that is you've described 90 percent of what's good about to happen oh shit i didn't mean to do that no <sighs> whatever we'll be fine See, I, meant, I, meant, I thought that guy was attacking that was my error Besides the besides over leveling Royd and having him destroy everything, the other the other big part of this will be uh, will be just sort of like getting to, getting enemies aggroed, gathering them together, you know, attacking them, baiting them into giving me dodge experience. That that'll all be a big part of it too. Also, see, like this guy is, I don't know why that guy's just sitting there. Like that could be an optimization to do something to get him to come over. Oh no, I wanted the XP off those arms. I 
See, now we have to walk all the way over. Should be ending player phase on his turn. Don't worry, our movement, our movement speed will get better. That'll be one of the priorities in terms of upgrading of the build from, from, you know, round to round. It also helps a lot that we're only going to be spending on one mech as well. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to remember to split. My name is PMC Trilogy. I made splits. I restarted for them and I'll, I'll keep going. All right. So that was like one of the longest ones we'll probably deal with, hopefully. Generally, whenever we get to a new town is when we're going to take time to upgrade. Eventually backpacks will also help give us more range as well. And then the other big thing is we're going to bring shields everywhere because we don't care about doing long range damage. And then we should still be, I'm going to, I'm going to take the time to check real quick that I have uh, items on my boy. But I'm pretty sure he should have, yeah, three repair S's, which is fine. Just take one, bring four with us, just in case. Get a briefing. He's gonna be like, oh, there is a plane crash. She should go check that out. That'll be great. And I'll be like, yeah, sure, dude. Man, I hope that I hope people white claw each other. That would be that would be fantastic. I would approve of that. Just hiding white claws all throughout. And forget the rest of the team. Oh yeah. So of course in these early parts, we're bringing health with us uh, because you know, we, we want to stay alive long enough to get over leveled. And then uh, we'll probably, I mean, in my test run, I only used a few health packs. Hopefully they'll kill Frederick quickly and just chase after me. That's the ideal. Whoa. I'm Frederick. Anyway, he calls for help and Royd says like, sure, we'll help you, bro. Whatever. So that guy is the big rocket launcher, but he won't have a chance to use it really. Yeah, there we go. So you see there are four numbers, right? The short number is the number we're focused on right now. Although the dodge number will also be improving. So we need to kill the guy with the egret because he's a little bit of a threat at this point, but like not too much really. Uh, 
That man's been disarmed. All right, good. I was like, I, I need one of them to, to die from their body so I can get around them. But yeah, once we get rid of this eager guy, it should be pretty smooth sailing. Generally speaking, these enemies are not a threat to us. Yeah. And of course, remember too, if, if an enemy is trying to punch us, which the missileers often are, we're shooting them first anyway. And like this guy's AI, like he should have tried to sh shoot us. And he should have tried to back off and missile us, but instead he uh, he went for the, the short range attack. And you might think like, oh, Egret, that's cool, right? And like, no, I'm not gonna use that. Oh, Frederick, could you could you die or something? Wow, Fred all right, Frederick's just stealing my experience. Thanks, bro. Oh, there we go. Level five. The, the the number levels really don't matter as much as like the the experience, like those uh, the four the four categories of stat. For mission one is very weird stats. I'd be lying to you if I told you I understood them completely. Let me go ahead and repair us my left arm. Here we go. But yeah, at this point, we're just running to the other end. So there's there's two things going. I mean, here's I'll tell you the main thing that's going on here. Purple is that I am playing on the I'm not playing on normal. I'm playing on, on a easy difficulty, basically. Uh, and so that is also affecting it. That That is why Frederick's living a little longer. You're not you are not wrong to feel like there is a difference because there is a difference. I chose a different difficulty setting. That is the difference. He can, he's still definitely capable of dying on this difficulty, though. Got to get that commander experience. The Akuji's also like a little bit of a threat. The rifle that the guy had. But yeah, this is pretty much the flow once we get into it here. It's just Royd runs over everything. Yep. Ow, 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 ow. All right, we got him. Yeah, no, this is Roid Rage. You're absolutely right. And he's gone. All right, Frederick lived, but we'll never use him. Take me down to the Huffman Highway. Tells us about the fight. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Let's go. Let's go do the mission. <clears throat>
This is a really funny one because we're supposed to be protecting the trucks and like we might protect the trucks if we just are good. <laughs> if we just kill things very quickly. Although I kind of don't want to kill things quickly again because my goal right now is to harvest as much experience as possible. Don't need anyone else. And the slaughter begins. I really wish they congregated like a little closer together. So the truck all the way in the rear is probably the one that's gonna get the most damaged, but whatever. The AI is very focused on going after the enemies. Um, hence them just sort of running around me. My biggest worry is that Pee Wee might st steal some kills, to be honest, because I don't really care if a, a truck or two goes down. No. Yeah, they, see, the AI is so hyper focused, it won't even attack me. God damn it. All right. Um. Well, I mean, it's fine. We're getting experience. We're living our life. And like, they also have specific targets too. Oh, there we go. Finally. Oh, Pee Wee. <laughs> No kill steal. But yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the route in terms of experience, everything is like very super straightforward. The complicating issue, if there is any, is just like how best to steer enemies, like what places to go to first, like that kind of thing. That's going to be like the real, the real stuff. Oh, that guy's dead. God damn it. Forgot I let one of them get away. It would be nice if the trucks tried to run away at all. I would appreciate that. Missileer probably shouldn't have too much more too many. One of the things about missileers too is that they will, you know, run out of missiles because long range ammo is limited. And so they will eventually just start trying to punch you. The annoying thing here is that I think right now they're set up so I can't actually get get around to, to short range fight them. Yeah, that truck is done, but whatever. Yeah, I, see, I can't actually get over to them. Well, truck, maybe if you'd park somewhere else, I could help you, but yeah, you can't do that. Oh, I, 
I meant to hit right arm. I, I'm actually, that's, I, I didn't realize it would let me use a repair item on something that had full health. Today I learned. Not, not something I would normally try to learn. Oh, well, the truck's gone anyway. Experience. We can probably top out on short experience by like mission 10, I think. It's like, you can do it pretty quickly. And at that point, it's just a matter of getting the dodge experience. See, I'm glad that these guys are actually programmed to come down. So I don't have to walk all the way out to him to aggro him. That would be deeply annoying. Ooh, there we go. Level up from dodge experience. Oh, wow. I'm already good. Okay. Speed level. All right. So speed is important. Speed is the one we want to take first. Uh, wow. We already got speed. That's great. That's fantastic. You love to see it. Uh, hopefully we can also level up speed by using speed. Uh, speed gives us extra hits on multi-attack weapons. So, uh, yep, there we go. Shenanigans ensue. All your body parts are instantly blown off. <laughs> Good night, sir. Take care. <laughs> All right, mission accomplished. You love to see it. All right, so starting Grey Rock Hospital has like a weird plot sequence. But first, let's go shopping. Uh, does difficulty, I do not think it does. I do not think I'm getting like more experience because I'm playing on easy. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm getting the same amount of experience, so. Let's go grab some repairs for my other other teammates. Set up. Vehicle, strike, items, trade. Nope. <laughs> Do not trade the empty for the empty. All right, there we go. All right, so first we're gonna go to military ward. He's gonna be like, just hang around. We don't have anything for you right now. I'm gonna be like, oh. and then I'm gonna go to the arena. And Mehua is here. And she's gonna be like, hey, bro, you wanna fight? You wanna fight me, bro? 1v1 mid me? Oh, shit. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do that because I'm mashing B. Yes. I would love to fight her. Thank you. And then immediately we go to the fight. It does not go well for her. Good night. You're pretty good. Anyway, she tells us that Karen was in Grey Rock Hospital. So guess what? We got to go to Grey Rock Hospital. And everyone else is coming with us. This mission can get a little spicy. <laughs> so because we're playing on easy difficulty, Paul is actually going to be able to kill some of the units that he's next to, which is good and bad. It's good because we don't have to do it with Royd. Uh, it's bad because he might not do it quickly enough for Driscoll to not attack us, and that would that would be that would be bad.
Anyway, I'm sure that hospital will be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to have Mayhawk go over to, uh, to Paul. Maybe that'll help. We'll see. to do was well, just do the two damage points of damage to the body oh my god all right whatever this will be fine don't worry about it deleted good night you might wonder, hey, could Roy be powerful enough to fight Driscoll in this stage? Driscoll is still too OP. <laughs> it's a good thought, but Driscoll is still too OP. Even on this difficulty, even with all this experience. Uh, high skill, high skill adds tons of damage. That's actually like, this is like a specific balance problem in this game is that skill does add damage. And so if your weapon hits more times, your ceiling for damage is just way higher. Like there is simply no way around it. You will simply have more damage to do. This is resolved by changes in the later games in the series, but right now, right now this is from mission one and they they do not know what they're doing <laughs> i'm probably being a little unfair but i don't know that's kind of how it feels Well, they're working on it. Yeah, here comes Driscoll. Here comes Driscoll. He's a berserker. Oh, they have a supply truck, so I guess they will run away, won't they? Yeah. Can they actually get up there to the supply truck? Oh, so this game has AI where like, if there's a supply truck in the level, like enemies with broken limbs will try to run back to it. I'm not too concerned about, I feel pretty good with experience right now. So I was like, I just need to get rid of these enemies. So I want to get out of this stage. Right, truck's loaded. See, it's interesting that they're going back to this truck because this truck just disappears at a certain point in the level. The truck just turns around and pieces out because it's part of like a scripted event. Yeah, 
If I were to make use of a second unit, it would probably be Meihua for a few reasons, but it's not happening. So we're not going to worry about it. Oh, damn. Okay, we still got... I was like, did we actually get them all like right away? Well, uh, more on that later, Purple. <laughs> you, you, you actually have cursed me more than you know. <laughs> more, more on that later. That's actually worked out really well. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Anyway, hospital's gone. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Driscoll's kind of a yeah, he's a little bit a little bit of bad news. Do I get a mission complete screen for this or what? I think I do. I think I do. If I go back to the world map, I'm I'm splitting. Yeah, okay. We get the the frame rate cutscene. No, can I not skip this? I guess, I think it's this one you can't skip. You have to like wait for the first line of dialogue before we can skip these. There we go. They're mostly skippable. All right, now I think it's gonna give me the mission complete screen after the very sobering cutscene about how we're not gonna see Karen again. Oh yeah, we have like a whole flashback about Karen is what is happening. Yeah, we're remembering the Larkus incident. This is really funny because when we're skipping through this, it's like, oh my God, dramatic things are happening. But also you did just finish a level and you know what that means. <laughs> Mission complete. <laughs> like your games like robots. Will I like front mission? I think yes. The answer is probably yes. It depends what kind of grid games you like. Uh, I feel like I'm not enough of a grid game expert to tell you this but uh, I'm a big fan of them. I think Front Mission 3 is, like depends on what era of game you like. Front Mission 3 is probably my favorite from when I was a kid, but um, you know, I mean, li li live your dream is what I would say. Also, we're in Grey Rock now, which means we can shop again. yet my we're physical but do look fun yeah i mean i think this this is definitely the definitive version of the game now because you can also play with like a, like a more sfc looking thing as well instead of this version i definitely do like this version you're gonna wait for physical i understand that i actually got i mean i was fortunate enough to get code for this game so that is uh it was it was in that sense an easy choice oh wait wait i didn't look at weapons We don't have the newest shields yet, so this is what we're doing at this point. I mean, the thing that I'm really happy about is I, I feel like this is good enough that I'm excited to see what they do with Front Mission 2, which of course has never had an English language release. Like, that's the one I'm really, really excited about. So, we'll see. Oh, that's right. Paul has to join me first. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is the thing I'm waiting for here? All right. It's fine way, ha. Huh? That's what it is. I always forget. There's some of these, some of the sequences between missions are just unique and weird. So... There we go. Now we can get the mission. 
Oh yeah, Pee Wee. So 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 purple. Pee Wee joins us, and uh, we cannot not bring him. I will be repeatedly sending Pee Wee to his death throughout the entire duration of this game. So look forward to that. We just trying to get rid of Pee Wee. I can't get rid of Pee Wee. See, I it's tempting. It would be funny if it happened. But it's kind of hard because he doesn't get like you can't upgrade his weapon. He only, get, he only gets one upgrade like and it's just towards the end of the ga game and it's automatic based on like progression in the game. He does have stats and he can level up, but I should note, of course, that I am playing this, you know, with all the battle animations and the movement, you know, turned off. So all of that's instant. Obviously, I'm, you know, doing it with, with splits up. So, of course, not seeing any of that. Remember, the experience for each stat caps at 9,999, so <laughs> it, it'll be here before you know it. Yeah, so I mean, for this for this speedrun route, what I'm doing is I'm just hyper leveling uh, a single character, and uh, and this game is abusable enough that you can get away with that. I'm also playing on the lowest difficulty mode too, which contributes as well. So again, you know, speedrun decisions. A a normal a normal playthrough of this, of course, would be much different. You would actually use <laughs> multiple units and maybe even have a variety of units. At this point, you can pretty much use Pee-wee to soften them up because Pee-wee's still pretty tanky and the machine gun is like, it's the same machine gun that we're using on, on our main unit. attack the, the healthiest one because again our, our main goal is to get experience to ride although at this point you know if we get some experience onto peewee it's not the end of the world
What's good too is also making sure we get missile attacks onto Royd, since that will beef up his dodge. The dodge stat really does become very important. It's, it's the reason we're able to solo this, really. He just, he really? You're gonna flashbang me, you jerk? Ah, uh, that means I lost my turn with, with Royd. Okay, well, that's unfortunate outcome. What are you gonna do? We'll just let Pee Wee clear things out a little bit. All right, can I please have a turn? Thank you. Oh, actually, I wonder, if, would Pee Wee be able to kill that guy? Nah, I didn't think so, but. Now, of course, uh, we need Royd to live, but if Pee Wee dies, it doesn't really matter. We weren't really depending on Pee Wee anyway. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty that's a pretty dark outcome. I might not I might actually not get to. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it looks like the bomber. I mean, as long as we get one Sam launcher, I think it's fine. <laughs> but very, very sad outcome here. Oh, did, I, did he get flashbanged again? Wow, he did, didn't he? All right, well, there you go. They just, they'd be taking my turns. That's so funny. My skipper's bars. What a, what a chaotic outcome. Ah, eh, whatever. They'll be fine. Okay, so right now we're waiting for Roy to recover from being hit with a flashbang. And that's why we're just getting multiple enemy phases in a row where no one's doing anything. All right, here we go. What a, what a, like, what a worst case scenario. All right, we should be back in it now. They all quickly run to their death. All right, and then we want uh, switch next and duel is the last one we'll take. Duel is like sort of our late game thing. We don't want to get that right away. There we go. <laughs> it was like bad outcome. Too many of the bombers died, you moron. Whatever. <laughs> Not my problem. Oh yeah, this is the best part where we just get to go into Hell's Wall and just absolutely smash them. It's so funny. 
Because it's like normally, if you're playing this game normally for the first time, this is like, you know, a challenging level. Hell's Wall's got like really tough armor. It's like a big step up equipment wise. It's going to be like butter. They, they're all made of butter now. They do all have very stupid faces. It's actually funny. One of them, uh, so the character Geta becomes a playable character in the UCS campaign. Come get some. I have no arms. How could this have happened to me? All right, come on, Pee Wee, go fight him. Well, that was an unfortunate, weird outcome, but whatever. It's really gonna end up being funny if we, because on my first my first test of this route, I did not I, like. There was a few early levels where I didn't bring Pee Wee into the fold, and so I'm curious now if he actually can gain like enough experience to become relevant, like at least through dodge dodge that. Because the the thing that that Pee Wee could like legit be useful for is aggroing enemies so they get closer to Roid. Like that would actually be useful. Bye, Josh. <laughs> Bye. The other thing with Missileries too is that like right now I'm harvesting dodge experience from them and then when they run out of XP, they're just going to run towards me and like fight me like and it's just so it's like just free free kills, which is why I'm actually going to run back because I know they're going to aggro towards me anyway, so I'm not going to waste the time to run over to them. I guess they must have missiles on both their shoulders. I was trying to remember how much ammo they have. Bye, Dave. <laughs> Help me. Help, computer. Dodge experience.
Although I really don't know what dictates the, the missile AI sometimes. Sometimes it just seems very unpredictable. Anyway, bye, Greek. So I, I got duel there. I'm not going to use duel probably until like, we're not going to use duel until we have our, until we have our short EXP maxed out because we still want to harvest body parts. And if we duel, we're, we're targeting one body part. Duel is a skill that lets you target a body part. Oh, ah. Remember when I said I was not going to do the thing? I'm used to the, the UI from the playing it normally. Whatever, I'll be fine. See, now you've baited me into thinking about powerful Pee-wee. I don't think it's possible, but it could be very entertaining. Two more guys. Oh, wow, okay, Pee Wee. Just assassinate him. Of damage, we should go back to town to repair. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're fine, everything here is fine. In fact, let's just go straight to Freedom City. Take me down to Freedom City. But yeah, folks, if you have any questions about uh, what I'm doing, I think it's all pretty obvious. I'm hyper-leveling the main character and going nuts. Pretty straightforward. But happy to explain things. What's annoying about this, this is a level where I wish enemies were a little more aggro because we have to make like an extra swing around to to get and to get enemies to fight us properly in this level otherwise they just don't aggro good All right, this is this is quickly becoming a, a, a disturbingly real comic gag.
I do wish they retained the uh, the X to no duel for that. Because if you do it, if you do the battle animation, it lets you press X to not duel, which is like, I don't know, pretty good. I wonder if there's how, I guess they'll keep chasing us. Cause I'm trying to decide if I want to go back up that way to fight the enemies coming down on my left. But I really need to get to those enemies over on the right, so. As long as they're chasing me, it's fine. They'll catch up with me eventually. Not a big deal. It actually might be better just to not take duel until, uh, until I have it maxed out, I think is probably what I should have done. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're committing to Pee Wee now. Here I am. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> committing to the bit. Uh, cause there's enough experience to go right. Like, like if I was at all concerned about getting to a certain amount of experience at a certain point, I would not be doing this, but I'm not. So there's like no reason for me not to. Okay, 9,300. So we're close to capping out on short anyway for, uh, for Royd. So, one of the, so they released a patch for this game last week, and one of the features that they added was that uh, Guide and Duel will not activate for body-only enemy types, which is, like, actually incredible quality of life that was missing from the original games. Uh, Shout-outs to Forever Entertainment for doing that. getting very silly very quickly. Bye. Good night, Clinton. Yeah, good. Those, okay, so those enemies stay to aggro, which is what I wanted. Okay, yeah. We're like one more attack, and that's pretty much it. We might as well just start body attacking now. 
There's really no reason not to. Body massage. There we go. I might not actually be able to get back in time, but whatever, we'll see. All right, all right, Pee Wee. See, I mean, this is the advantage of having a second attacker, and if it's the one I have to have with me, then like that's to my advantage. Anyway, Hans is here. We're never gonna use Hans. Bye, Hans. All right, so we're in Freedom City now. Let's chop. You said that they, they do some streaming, right? Is that, I think, what you had said? Am I remembering that right? The voice actor, that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there you go. Pretty happy with how this is going. Uh, turns out using PUE is unexpectedly uh, used as comedic. I, I don't, you know, I don't know if I have a, have a good sense of whether or not it's a good idea, but it's an element of the game that we have to deal with. And so maybe if we can actually turn it to our advantage, then that is something. The slowest part of the game is enemies spawning in. And like, I get, it's a strategy game. You want to show where all the enemies are initially. I get it. Oh, he's got no arms.
So at this point, since we've maxed out on short experience, we're not worried about harvesting it, and we're always just going to duel to the face. Duel. Apply directly to the forehead. Also, Molly. Bye. Go. Oh, come on, Molly. Molly. There you go. Mo Molly of the IRA. Oh, truck to tr truck to truck. Truck to truck to truck. Duel, level two. Bye. How can a truck survive on the island that Huffman has become? Always asking this. Hmm. I'm realizing now that my camera is like right in front of the... Maybe I can go down here. I just don't want to deprive y'all of the uh, tiny, tiny PMC. Deprive y'all of the, the good, good dual interface. Uh, no, is right, whatever, fine. No, I don't know. Whatever, we'll just go back to where it was. No, none of y'all need to see the dual interface. I take it back. I wish that truck did anything. Peewee's starting to pick up experience and kills. It's concerning. It's also like a real test though, because again, I cannot upgrade Pee Wee's machine gun. <laughs> it will not happen. How far can experience carry Pee Wee? Yeah, well, so the thing right now is on these levels, it's saving me time because I don't have to have Roy go all over the map, you know, where I also like don't have to spend time skipping his turns because he's actually getting kills. Like if he kills all these dudes without Roy having to come over here, that's good. Like that's just good. There's no way. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know, unless I'm bad at time, which which could be true. Again, I'm completely new to RPG speed running. So like, I don't want to pretend that uh, that I have a firm grasp on time or reality. The Canyon Crows, oh my God. Delete. Really, I wonder. I don't think Pee Wee can learn skills, also, which is like something I'm wondering about, because I'm not getting any prompts to like do uh, do like speed with him. Like, obviously, he can't learn switch. So it would be meaningless for him to learn switch, since he does not have two hands. He just has truck truck fingers, I guess. Tires. Oh, <laughs> room, room. Yeah. How, how hard do I have to shit post here? Uh, also, stream elements still not playing raid alerts. Folks, welcome to uh, to the inaugural speedrun by anyone of Front Mission First for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful a wonderful time. Yo, thank you, thank you. Yeah, join, follow folks. If you don't know who Froob, Froob is, Froob, Froob speedruns many good games, many excellent, excellent video games. Um, what were you working on? I think you were doing, God, what were you doing? I should know this. Actually, I was, I'm about to say, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say K2. 
I was thinking K2. I know I've been thinking about Yakuza speedrunning because Tap was talking about running three again. So, but yeah, also I know it's a it's a fine tradition for uh, fruit raiders to screw up my poll. So here, are all, the, all the poll right now is entirely PS2 games. Uh, so please go nuts with that. You had K2 softlock, Steam soft. I how do you even have? I don't think I've ever had Steam softlock like that. That's wild. I did have Discord softlock during a podcast recording yesterday. Yeah, I will be playing. I will be playing Yakuza Five in um, probably in January after AGDQ. So uh, look forward to that. Yeah, Raw Danger is on there. I think X Files is in the lead right now. But so if you want to, if you want to swing it to Raw Danger, there you go. Froob is telling you to exclamation vote six, no space. But yeah, welcome to Front Mission. If you have any questions about Front Mission or my route, I've never done an RPG speedrun before, so uh, I'm I'm completely gremlin moding this. I I did test this route, so yeah, it's so much routing. Well, Threads of Fate's a PS1 game. That'll happen soon enough, though, Frey. Don't worry. I've Threads of Fate still on the subgames list. The existence of it. Well, what is the opposite of a front mission like a, a back recreation? What would be the opposite of a front mission? It's like my friends used to say the opposite of Outback Steakhouse was in front fish apartment. I don't know if that quite tracks, but. Oh shit, I think I forgot to split on that. I was so distracted. It's okay. Splits aren't real, they can't hurt you. <laughs> okay yeah you know i don't know i don't know if speedrunning front mission games is gonna become a thing for me but if it does if it does that does mean i'll have to at some point speedrun left alive i'll have to finish left alive which i still have not done uh, actually when I kind of want these two to die as soon as possible. Oh yeah, there is a speed run to Left Alive. I, I, I haven't watched it though, because again, I haven't finished the game, but uh, I do know there are runs. There is a runner at least. Come on, kill JJ. Kill JJ, kill JJ. So at this point, JJ and Keith have no experience. I just kind of want them to die. Kind of same thing for Molly. Left Alive, I mean, Left Alive is just kind of unfortunate. Like, I do wonder, uh, like, did they just never have an understanding of stealth and survival gameplay? Which that's, that's kind of what it feels like. They just didn't, they didn't know. They didn't know what, what that what that kind of game is. Kill him. Yeah, you can get a you can get a Half Life crowbar <laughs> in Left Alive. I love it so much. I think there's World of Tanks like posters in Left Alive as well. It's very powerful. What a what a powerful video game. One of my biggest regrets was uh, I think uh, my buddy Steven Hero went to PAX East around the time Left Alive came out, and I told him to try and like take as much swag from the uh, the Left Alive booth at PAX East as possible because there would never be le like Left Alive swag anywhere again. And uh, I was right, <laughs> but like he didn't get anything. It was just fine. That would be like an albatross around your neck for all time to deal with that. Damn, I got dual level two. I got speed level two yet, though. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Trying to send PV over here so that once Molly dies, PV can clean up those enemies and like save me a lot of time. That would be that would be ideal, an ideal experience for me. 
Uh, if you're curious what the, I'm, I think I probably said it, but what the speed run is, is that I'm hyper leveling my main character uh, and then disregarding everyone else. Although I'm trying to level my truck right now and see if that uh, helps more than it hurts. Cause the truck has to come along. I cannot get rid of the truck, sadly. Born in a ditch, raised in a cave. Trucking and fucking is all that Pee Wee craves. Does he? I hope he does. I mean, I, I assume that's why the back of the truck is angled up so that the truck nuts can dangle even lower. Can't believe I said that. <laughs> see, see how the back of the truck is up like that? Like, it's, that's got to be why, right? A reminder, front mission has four types of stats. Uh, it has melee, short, long, and dodge. We are only really interested in short and dodge. Uh, dodge does improve your ability to evade all damage, as well as especially damage from long. Uh, short refers to short range weaponry, like machine guns, which is primarily what we like because short range weaponry uh, deals more, more individual hits. And if we can increase the damage in all those individual hits, the ceiling for short range damage is vastly superior to melee damage, or to um, or to long damage, which are basically annoying. Yes, this is also correct. This is, this is dodge. This is a dodgeball game. Damn it, JJ! Why are you still alive? Wow, Pee Wee Assassin. Upsetting. Yes. That just sucks. Yeah, dog, you, you get out. Bye. Bye. Wow. Pee Wee did it. That's like, that saves a lot of time having to go all the way up there with Roid. Or, you know, train a second character. All right, so I think we got three more, oh no, four more Wanzers and two trucks. Oh, three trucks. God damn it. Get aggro. So I know the trucks in this level won't get aggroed, but some of the Wanzers will once I get close enough. Some of the Vanzas. It is very satisfying to just walk up in touch of death, everything. It's a little silly, but you know, I'm fine with it. All right, one truck. Bye. The trucks are never gonna attack me, so I'm gonna focus on moving to and attacking the trucks rather than attacking the Bonzers at this point. Because they'll probably attack me, and then I can just counterattack. It's wild how much dodge experience you get at higher levels of dodge. It is uh, quite good, actually. Yeah, there we go. So you can see short experience is maxed out and we got a, we got a while to go for, for uh, dodge experience to get maxed out, but don't worry, it will get there. 
I promise. There will be, there will be plenty of missiles to be shot at Royd yet. No doubt about it. Ooh, speed level two. All right, good, good. Speed leveled up. That's what I'd like to see. All right, Pee-wee. Yeah, he just, you know, he's not himself when he doesn't have a skipper's bar. There you go. I remember to split. Military ward to get a mission. Blah, 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 blah. Go to the mail river border. There's some stuff there. It'll be great. Thank you. So here we're going to send uh, the commander Royd up to the bridge and we're going to send Pee Wee straight into the river. <laughs> Just drive that truck straight into the river. Oh yeah. Good luck, Pee Wee. Oh, flashback time. Sometimes you gotta have a flashback about about your girl. Good for battle and let's go. Yeah, wheels the, the wheel type movement for Pee Wee doesn't work particularly well on Saiyan, so he's gonna move like not very far, but it'll be fine for our purposes. Oh yeah, 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 I heard about the new uh, the new little mini R ice. But yeah, no, I tear down is a good time. When, when just part one was out, I had done some speed runs of that. And then uh, when part two come out, I, I thought about running. I wasn't really, I did not like the direction the run had gone. So I just didn't, ended up not doing it. Still a good game though. Like I still 100% enjoyed my casual playthrough of it. They all just, they just, they just walking up for this. I'm happy to oblige. And he runs about, what makes it unfun to you? So the, um, what, back, back in part one, there was an emphasis on the prop flying. The prop flying trick is cool, but like, I really wasn't into it. I had done a no major glitches category that I enjoyed. Um, and then I think for part two, like I just, 
I, whatever, I forget, honestly, I forget exactly what it was with part two, but it just like was not exactly my speed. And you know, speed runs, I just want to do whatever. And there were people on it. The other thing too, some, some of the speed run community was like a little weird. They had some like weird requirements for like submissions in terms of like asking for like extra resources and being like, being super paranoid about cheating for a community that has like 10 people. And I don't know, that, that always like giving me extra paperwork to do just to speed run. I'm usually going to be quite unsympathetic too. Yo, hey, we kids. Yeah, full stream. It's front mission. Gotta have the the full the full uh, 360 for that, I guess. Put the truck into the water. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know me. Like, I'm usually the sort of person who is speed running a game without any sort of community like usually again i like to go for the obscure stuff uh yeah peewee might just like sewer shark these clowns let's find out <laughs> that guy's like i'm out of here these waters are infested It's true. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up with Pee Wee. Well, the thing is, so do bear in mind that as Pee Wee gets more dodge experience, like he is just going to take less damage. Like that is just a property of how dodge works. But also, yeah, he does have like 200 hit points, even without that issue. Oh, we got dual level three and speed level three. All right, we're cooking with gas now. This is very quickly becoming silly, uh, but I'm here for it. You really do just be chunking this boy. I might actually max out Pee Wee on short. <laughs> At the rate this is going, that is happening probably. Okay, just pop the Buren. Bye. Bye bye, Buren. Okay. Who would win? <laughs> a truck full of candy bars or Metal Gear? Oh man. Now I want to hear like a like a Metal Gear monologue in Snacklish. Oh, split. We will be as chakats. All right, new town. Let's go shopping.
cool. We're good. Uh, yeah, uh, military ward. Oh my god, it's some boys fighting in town that we could recruit to our army. No, don't get involved. See you later. Bobby and Perunga. Death and then the natural. All right, yeah, so the premise of this mission is just that we ambush a train and kill everyone on the train. Yep, that's the mission. Oh yeah, there's sort of a timer, but that timer's not a problem at all. Touch. Yes. It's kind of funny. Pee Wee actually does have now, now more has dodge experience than uh, than Roy, which like maybe is a problem. But I don't think it actually is. Yeah, no, Pee Wee's kind of going to town. It's, it's kind of funny. I mean, this is the thing. He, he because he has a short a short range weapon. Like, even without the skills, even without all that jazz, like he is still going to be effective because he can level up his short attack, and that's like all you need, really. He's not gonna be effective as a Roid, who will one touch like touch of death everything, but. Like, still, still gonna kill some things.
It's kind of funny. I haven't really upgraded Switch at all because I just haven't used it. Because <laughs> nothing lives that long. All right, cool. Mission complete. New town, Belchka. <laughs> no, it's only getting better. Uh, yeah, that's that's Natalie's dad. He's he's a he's a jerk, but I guess he he's kind of nice in the end. There we go, the five hit machine guns. That's what I wanted. <laughs> of course, as I said before, the number of hits is really more important than uh, frankly, the individual damage of the hits. So we'll be using these for a little bit. But yeah, this is pretty much going according to plan, although even better, I guess, uh, with the Pee-wee stuff. I didn't really think Pee-wee had it in him, but I was wrong. Shit goes to show. Completely disarmed. Uh, good times. Pee Wee might die from missiles, but you know, I live on in our hearts. Pilot, do you use the repair? Yeah, it's the repair bill. So you'll, I think you'll notice sometimes, especially when I'm forced to have like an ally in the battle at the end, if the screen hung around long enough, in much the same way that I get bonuses for killing enemy pilots, I would receive debt. I would receive a financial penalty. There's, yeah, it's not like Fire Emblem. There's no permadeath or anything. Yeah, long range weapon is definitely going to be the biggest threat. Since I can't like upgrade his de his defense points, that's like a real a real ceiling for him in terms of how much he can get involved in this.
Wow. Pee wee seven K. You love to see it. Hell yeah. I don't think there's really better part. I know there, I don't want to get better weapons here. Uh, are there better parts here? Oh yeah, I think I will go Prism Air actually. Uh, oh, probably like 20 some hours, I think. I forget, honestly. I did some grinding though, so like, I might be full of shit, to be honest. better watch out you better watch out you better watch out oh shit i didn't go to the military ward I wish they had a file time though, because then I'd really be able to give you like a proper answer. But I don't think there was a file time on my save. So like this is an example of a level where Mehua just shows up, and like if if I had to have another Wanzer that I leveled up, it would probably be Mehua. But, yeah. Of course, now that I have Peewee in play, I can send Peewee to go up top and take care of some units that would otherwise be annoying to me. Missler's like, get me away from the truck. Get me away from the truck. Deleted. Delete this sick filth. Missileer, you'd be you would be better off not attacking. Do, do not engage the truck in short range combat. It will not work out the way you think it will. So anyway, Mehua meets up with her 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 lost brother.
I need I need more I need more of them to attack Roid, please. That truck. Okay, those trucks are not budging. Uh, do I, I gotta go fight those trucks? Is there really not a point here that I can walk on? Or I guess it's just him in the way. Oh, these stupid supply trucks. The worst. It doesn't matter if Yoon dies. It's not like I have to protect him to save the mission or anything. Good. Good night, Mewa. Stop taking up turns. Okay. Now let's get rid of this truck, hopefully. Good. Yes, the chaff will help him. Good job. Just vaporized. Yeah, Pee Wee's probably gonna hit max short experience next stage. <laughs> I really thought I did that in the wrong order because I really should have flipped it around, but like Pee Wee's like, no, I'll just kill him. L let me at him, boss. <sighs> yeah, sorry, Driscoll. Better luck next time. I'm really curious to see how this Morgan Fortress thing is going to go. This Morgan Fortress is really a stage that should kill Pee Wee. Uh, but we'll find out what, go, what happens here. Ring, 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 banana phone. It's actually Driscoll on the line. Yeah, so anyway, we finally get our, our, our mission again. Off we go to Morgan Fortress. So Morgan Fortress is very hilly 
and there are multiple big cannons that we have to kill. Which is not so much a problem for our boy Royd, who can pretty easily shrug off anything at this point, but it is a little bit of a thing for, for Pee Wee. Thankfully, a lot of the, the Vonsers are pretty aggro, so that saves us time at least. We don't have to go hunting them down. The nice thing about, I mean, hopefully if Pee-Wee can contribute, he can grab some of the other fixed emplacements for me. That would be the real, the real joy of this. So the goal here is I'm going to try and send uh, Roy straight up and then Pee Wee to take care of these fixed emplacements, which is like a real risky move, but like, whatever. Either Pee Wee will, will win or, or Pee Wee will die. Problem solved either way. <laughs> Driscoll's like, wow, you just totally, totally destroyed them all. Loop. Bye. Come on, Pee Wee. I know you can do better than that. It's really about to be the funniest shit of all time if Pee-wee rolls this cannon. <laughs> oh, call your shots, folks. It's important. 
<laughs> uh, good times. Yeah, it's unfortunate that Pee Wee can't actually like improve his armor because otherwise that's like that's like really the thing that was going to cause him to fall short, but still funny in the meanwhile, in the meantime. All right, get out of here, Kirkland. What do you think this is, a Costco? Gah! He got me. Yeah, all right, Pee-wee's Pee -wee's going down next turn, but <laughs> it was good knowing you, Pee-wee. No, why me? <laughs> we'll see you next round, sir. We'll see you next round. Honestly, pretty good. He got rid of the big cannon. I would have liked to have him for to get that other, get the other small cannon, but like, I'll take it. I will take this. The guy, the missile is going to, again, they're going to exhaust their ammo and then follow me. So like, whatever. I ain't got time to babysit them. I got, I got cannons to destroy. Plus I also get additional dodge experience off of this. So that just makes me even more invulnerable. Only making me more powerful. Yeah, he's out of ammo now. <laughs> uh, sucks to suck, buddy. Come and fight me. See, and again, that's why I didn't chase him down because I knew I knew eventually he would just catch up with me and immediately eat eat bullets. All right, fine, fine. I'll kill you. You insist. And that's it. Yeah, it's just that one turret left. Another, another easy peasy one. A little bit of running around just because of all the stationary emplacements, but that's how it be sometimes.
This is like another city stage. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is where, uh, where Greek shows up again to 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 get his ass extremely handed to him. The car alarm is back. The war on cars never ended. Let me tell you. Uh, Pee Wee does move fast. So different terrain has different movement costs for different types of legs. And so uh, as you might expect, roads have very low cost for tires. Okay, Pee Wee. Well, Pee, Pee Wee can walk the walk. Yeah, Pee, Wee, Pee Wee has rejected the war on cars. Pee Wee is engaged in a different kind of war. So as you can see there, that's an enemy that has no legs, no arms, running towards the supply truck and about to get horribly run down by Pee Wee. Uh, a true awful fate. No, missiles, Pee-wee's one weakness. Oh yeah, don't don't try to punch Pee-wee. That's a bad idea. You don't want that. Let me tell you, Chief. It's, it's not gonna go well for you. Just a lot of violence happening everywhere. Oh no, Pee Wee! <laughs> uh, Greek is about to get his face pushed in. I think he's absolutely gonna try to kill me. Oh yeah, there you go. Salute Pee Wee. Pick on someone else. All right, well we gotta get the ones that aren't gonna attack me. There we go, dodge experience continues to accrue.
I gotta get over there and take out that other truck because it's not gonna budge. Those other th that missile here will probably start chasing me, but oh what? Where's where's Greed going? God damn it! What? <laughs> Where is he? All right, all right. You know, uh, all right. What? Well, mm, fine. He's just not it. I think he's just afraid to die. I don't know. <laughs> All right, there he is. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, bye. I wish this truck would just blow up out of fear because it ain't doing anything else. All right, thank you. Victory! Yes! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Salute, Pee Wee. These are my United States of Pee Wee. All right, reports of a terrorist group. Let's go investigate. Actually, we're also in a new place, so that means shopping. So I said, I'm going to keep these guns for a long while, uh, but we are going to upgrade the shields there. So this mission is the first time we fight Spirit of Huffman and mostly... The enemies are much like the uh, like the missions from early in the game where they were focused on like a specific target like Frederick or on a target like uh, the trucks, you know, when we first got introduced to Pee Wee. Here, the enemies are going to be focused on this helicopter. Spirit Hoffman has a pretty cool song. Maxed out on short. <laughs> Here we go, folks. The the dream the dream's coming true. It's, it's happening.
So really at this point, you know, in terms of Pee Wee level ups, it's just him getting shot at and, you know, improving by way of, of dodge EXP. I'm probably going to have him go for that truck, honestly. Uh, because I think the truck will, uh, you know, not move. <laughs> always, always a, a ripe target in this, in this scenario. So the enemies, you might think, is the helicopter okay because it's in the helipad? Because of how the hill is positioned, the enemies can actually get up to the helicopter, so they will continue pursuing it. It's mostly just kind of funny. Like, you, you know, for me, a major motivation to speedrunning is just to see what happens to a game when you push on it. And I think because of how sort of unbalanced and like not necessarily well thought out front mission is, like seeing it sort of crumple in on itself like this is very funny. Um, like, so I'm, I'm, it's, I wouldn't call it like fun to play, but it's kind of fun to witness to be like, ah, yes, this is what happens when you push on it. And like, of course you can optimize it even more in terms of like individual levels and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Yep, yep. No, some, some, especially with these, the floating ones, right? Big, big Dom energy on those. That truck might die. <laughs> Wouldn't they? No, who would expect that? The skirted mobile suits. Uh, that helicopter might be dead. Whatever. I don't actually fail the mission if the helicopter dies. Otherwise, I'd be much more worried about it. But th this is fine. I mean, I think I'm, I'm. It is rescued, but also it wouldn't have mattered anyway. What is this last mobile suit doing? I'm so, this is this Vonzer. What are you doing, little child? Why are, are you lost? You're supposed to be attacking the helicopter. What are you, what are you doing? All right, yeah, AI's having a, having a real one. You're not even attacking me. All right, thank you. Thank you, Pee Wee. Yeah, I gotta take a little jog. I gotta think about, do I want to stop the war crimes today? Maybe. He's trying to really work himself up to it. No data.
This is the final the final battle of the second Huffman conflict. Obviously, only about two thirds of the way through the game for for the Canyon Crows, but we're getting there. Come on, missileers. Get over here. Oh, that dude's running away. He thinks he's going to get his arm repaired. All right. No repairing. Truck is gone. Fight to the death. I'm kind of impressed by actually how many enemies are coming straight into the mall. So at this point, this is when the uh, Olsen shows up and tells everyone that the, the conflict is over, but then the UCS soldiers refuse to lay down their arms. So we slaughter them all. That's from mission, baby. <laughs> Yeah, you could you could just surrender and you're you're not even gonna become a prisoner of war, right? Like the war is over. We're just gonna walk away. That's all. You can just you can just hit the bricks. Gotta learn to dodge somehow, Pee Wee.
And he tries to punch the truck, and the truck shoots a gun. The war is over. The second Huffman conflict came to an end. All armed forces were unified into under the Peace Mediation Organization from the Republic of Zaftra. Mission complete. But wait a second. What do you mean I have 11 more missions? It turns out that there is a hidden impost tomb which plagues the island of Huffman. And we must uncover it. Military ward. Mission. Field hospital. Secret war. So we got to talk to people. Dr. Brown. No one can succeed like Dr. Brown. We got to talk to people about Dr. Brown. How do you think Dr. Brown is? And they're like, oh, we all love Dr. Brown. He's awesome. He's just the best. He's, holy shit. Hey, everyone says Dr. Brown rules. What do we do? Uh, terrorists are here. So anyway, we distract the terrorists and then we fight them. <laughs> He's only going to get more vengeful. get this guy ran away i don't know why he runs away like that i don't know what his ai is doing but eh whatever we got him hmm. 6k 6k dodge Missileer AI is so greedy because it really should just run away and shoot missiles. And it said, like, no, I'll punch him. Why shouldn't I punch him? And the answer is because he's got a gun. That's why you shouldn't punch him. You would have won. You would have won if you had run away and shot missiles. All right. Nice. Good job, everyone. They never saw it coming. I really wish this game gave us like kill counts for units at the end because Pee Wee is, must be racking up just the dumbest kill count of all time. This is very good. 
All right, so d at this point, Dr. Brown is telling us about the secret, uh, the, the secret that plagues uh, Denmark. <clears throat> I mean, Huffman Island. Uh, which is apparently that they are using veteran soldiers' brains to make advanced uh, weapon systems. Shocking. Truly awful. How could the industrial military industrial complex do this to us? The answer is quite easily. It was profitable. All they had to do was start a war to generate some veteran soldier brains. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What is a robot? You know, what's the broadest reasonable interpretation of a robot? All right, there we go. I mean, all we all know mecha fans love big robots. Yeah. One missile to mech or a supply clerk with a gun. All right, 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 all right. Oh, yes, if it's Jericho, then. God, that's a show I need to watch. I really need to figure out how to get some bottoms into my life. Uh, all right. Briefing, 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 briefing. Keep it brief. Oh, I think this is where I help out. I help out Triscoll. I team up with Triscoll for a mission. The, the most awkward team up of all time. I'm also really curious about the the Vodums PS. There's like four PS1 Vodums games, but the PS2 Vodums game, I think, is the one that looks really interesting. Especially since it's more action-oriented, which means it's probably more playable for someone who can't read or speak Japanese. I think some of the PS1 Vodums games or Vodums games are, uh, are like strategy RPGs, which would probably be a little harder to get into. Oh, Tracy. <laughs> no. Oh, Driscoll. No, I don't think it, I don't think the, I think the closest we've ever gotten to anything Vodum's getting like there was almost the Vodum's dub at one point, which like would have been the closest to like making that happen. But I don't think that ever happened. So I guess there's probably some official English language like Vodum's like Blu-ray DVD releases, but like all subtitled, I assume. Someone here knows better than me to answer that question though. Like I am not I am not an expert on that on that franchise. That one's really good if you like just like dark shit, like like front mission or whatever. It's like every every episode end is like in the city that hates everyone that lives there. How can a man survive? Like it's it does feel very like it's like like you know how like weird seventy sci fi and like planets in the middle of nowhere and like everyone's like a, a prisoner or whatever. Like that's that's like bottoms. <laughs> it's just very hard. Oh yeah, Heavy Gear definitely draws on that for sure, for sure. Heavy Gear is like like a dash of, of battle tech on top of your bottoms, I think, is how I would describe it. Right. It's also full of like the classic sunrise mecha noises and everything because it's, it's another sunrise show. So, you know, you're going to get a lot of that stuff in it.
Driscoll's pretty good too, <laughs> as it turns out. Got to get back there and take care of that truck. Yes, this is that sunny Huffman Island. Everyone loves Huffman Island. Nothing, nothing but good things. It's the only land border between OCU and UCS. It's a fascinating place. In in the game's lore, Huffin Island was a volcanic island that I think first appeared in like uh, 1995 and then became like habitable only decades later. Not again. I we'll have to listen to what it is. The, what the? Because I'm not sure if I recognize what you're talking about, Archie. But the fuzzy synthly. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. It was it was when it was the enemy's turn. I think it was right. Is that that's when it was? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, Frederick leaves the party. He will be missed. JK, he won't be missed. Yeah, this is just slugging it out on the mountain. I was like, is there anything special going on in this stage? Now nah, we just we just be fighting on the mountain. Thank you, Spirit of Huffman for these fine beats. Send Pee Wee to assassinate that other truck. Shit, he actually punched me. I can't believe that. The truck's like, no, come on, let's go, buddy. No, don't do that. Pee Wee is a. <laughs> Pee Wee is not to be trifled with. I warned you, bro. I told you about our truck driver.
Out of an abundance of caution, I'm going to put myself here and then repair the left arm. Probably not necessary, but doing it anyway. with this truck on i mean i'm impressed by how resilient nature is to all of this all this violence shout outs to nature i guess That's rude. Disrespectful. Okay, <laughs> you you destroyed his arms and legs. What is he gonna do to you? Nothing. Finish him. All right, cool. All right, mission accomplished. I think we will finally get the upgraded PUE truck for like three missions from the end. So I look forward to that. I think this is where like I need to, or I, I think I need to like end up clear, like getting data, but first shopping time. Oh, do I still really want pious legs here? That'll work. That's probably unnecessary. <laughs> it's probably deeply unnecessary, but it makes me feel secure. All right, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna go track down the terrorists at their headquarters. You might be wondering, hey, PMC, why aren't you saving? There is an auto save in this game, in this version of the game. So uh, I would lose progress to the beginning of the battle. Not the end of the world. Yeah, PB is kind of, I don't know. That was kind of sadistic. Not just finishing that thing off. It's kind of weird, weird energy. Also, Frederick's here uncovering the truth, which is that he's about to get bodied.
I don't know why it won't let me go down there. That's the real problem here. Oh, because it's not a real tile. That's what it is. I always forget the reason I can't do that. All right, well, <laughs> see you later, Pee Wee. It's good. Too bad. Too bad they missed a tile that doesn't let you participate in this stage. See ya. It might be like that in the original game, too. Yeah, we can't, we can't tell Pee Wee what happened to Frederick. It would break his heart. Good night. They'll print anything these days. Ha 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 ha. Well, okay. So I want to emphasize that you can actually get around all the way on the right side of the map. But yes, if you had the wrong mobility type legs, you would be screwed. And you'd have to go all the way around. Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Well, so Frederick wasn't actually like I Frederick is actually an enemy to be attacked in this mission. And in terms of like casual gameplay, you get a, a monetary bonus for destroying him. So it is intended. It is it is the thing that they want you to do. can't actually attack him from that direction because of the short range. The nice thing is eventually they run out of missiles and then they all try to punch me and comedy ensues. on how quickly they run out of missiles and all run into me because that's really going to cut their life pretty short oh i don't think peewee can actually get down there can he i thought he could get down there ah oh, shit i might be wrong you might just be barred I mean, good news is they're all flocking to their death now, so. Oh yeah, you can't get down here either. Cut! There you go. I guess I should just be ending his turns instead of walking around with him. 
My B. All right, well, they're all they're all coming home. It's all coming home. And that. All right, so anyway, Frederick explains that actually the Spirit Huffman are the good guys, and it is, in fact, the military industrial complex who are the bad guys, much to the surprise of no one. Brains. Cells. Yeah, bam. All right, so anyway, now we're gonna go rogue. It's cool. Nirvana Institute is actually uh, a noteworthy stage in the speedrun because it's actually one that only requires defeating a boss enemy instead of the whole stage, which is kind of nice. It's kind of a little welcome, welcome change of pace. Uh, all right, bar. What do we have to do in here? Oh yeah, the colonel's like mad at me. Is this where I go to the bar? No. I'm gonna leave and then everyone's like, nope, no boss. Oh, that's right, they take me to the bar. That's what it is. Pee Wee has an, okay, so Pee Wee has an upgraded truck now. I think, I think this is where Pee Wee gets the upgraded truck. He just he just steals it on the way out the door. This is very good. So all we got to do is defeat Driscoll. He's going to run away. We're probably not going to catch him right away, but that's all that's what we got to do here. Oh, Gens is here too. Gens becomes like the last, uh, like a mandatory member of the party.
Yeah, he doesn't really get an upgrade. It's just he just looks like a truck, but he has a he has a better gun. safe for anyone oh i mean maybe i'm wrong maybe maybe he gets the, the extra coat of paint later well i will see we'll know if it's true when we see what weapon he has because if he still has the pat 55 then it's not new but if he has the artiso that's new wow that <laughs> That truck went for it. The truck said, I'm not afraid. There are two ways to clear this level to kill everyone but Driscoll or to kill Driscoll. And so we just make our way towards Driscoll. Oh, okay. Now that is the new truck because he has the upgraded weapon. It is a kind of a downgrade though, because there's more attack power, but it was like one fewer hits. So I don't know. Struggles real. Might actually be a downgrade if it loses one hit in the machine gun. That's kind of sad, but you know, whatever, I guess. Eh, yeah, still killed one. Good job, Pee Wee. care about guns no peewee uh i mean you know if you're if your party's like evenly leveled out and you're playing the game normally and casually like driscoll could be a little threatening to fight uh this driscoll is going to be fine for us to fight for, with roid Against. I probably should have just left them at the entrance. Bye bye. Anyway, he explodes the place because he's spiteful. Toasty. Mission complete. Who do you think you are? God? 
That's what I want. It's fresh sub day to Dale and Mal. Yeah, thank you, Ev, for the 28 months. God, I just want that to play every time I finish a mission. Who do you think you are, God? It's good. It's good. I, I think this thing's going well. I think we're on track. Uh, Pee Wee turns out to be pretty useful. So, uh, you yeah, know, we're, we're doing all right. We are doing okay. I, I'm probably upgrading more often than I need to, especially in the mid game, but still probably a good idea. I know, truly, how could I have doubted Pee Wee? We're back at the Larkus factory. Oh my God. This is where it all began. All right, Pee-wee. Let's 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 get net some kills. Score some, get some gamer score. I believe in you. Ooh, almost maxed out, maxed out on dodge for uh, for Royd. Good to see. Not quite, not quite the same for Pee-wee. Yeah, I want to take out the the missler if I can. Put myself close to other enemies so they try to attack me at short range instead of the long range. Delete. Could be interesting. I, I'm still actually like in the process of watching. So the the runner who did the front mission DS run, you know, didn't have access to easy, right? Because they were playing on the DS version. And so I'm still in the process of watching the run to see what they do at the end of the run. Because I imagine things are like a little tighter uh, in terms of resources than it would be from like what I get. So I am curious to see what they do. I think it'd be fine and normal. I think it'd be fine and normal. I don't know about higher than normal though. 
I don't know. I don't know about that. Wow, Pee Wee about to clear this with one health. <laughs> Incredible. Very good. Bam. Oh, we got Karen, the Karen computer. Oh no. Our fiance was dead and she got turned into a computer that makes us fight good. What does this mean? I actually think I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna hold off here and just stick to. We'll upgrade when we get to Rapidus. Yeah, thank you for the good luck. Hopefully things won't take too much longer. Should be should be pretty rapid, especially with Pee Wee doing doing Pee Wee shit. I'm hoping sub four. So anyway, Natalie, JJ, and Keith rebel against Olsen. And, but they're in terrible wanzers, so they get blown up. Comedy ensues. Oh yeah, they got some cool spider bots, it's true. Yeah, that guy actually kind of dinged Roy. Disrespectful. Jeez.
All right, the good news there, we still have some repair items for Roid, so we don't have to like, I don't know, be extra careful or whatever. Yeah, get out of here, JJ. Shoo. Regret, regret, regret. You just smoked him? Dog, oh, he's already smoked. Don't you know that? Yeah, good. Bye, bye, Keith. Very good. Man, I wish Pee-wee could learn skills. If Pee-wee could learn speed, comedy would absolutely be have ensued at some point. At many points. Yo, shout out to the dude with no arms trying to chase that truck down. And it's just is not working out for him. <laughs> Skipper's bar. All right. Well, salute Pee Wee. Everyone here just trying to shoot him with missiles and like I tell you folks, it don't work. It do not work. <laughs> like protect us, protect each other. I do kind of have to kill this dude with no arms because he cannot, he cannot provoke an attack. He is unable to do so. You're not out of missiles yet? <laughs> They're not working. Like, you should really try something else. There we go. He finally tried to attack me. Oh, he actually got some damage in. Impressive. Bye. All right. 
mission accomplished there. Anyway, Natalie's gone rogue, even though her dad's in the military. Shit's getting real. This is a pretty straightforward level. I just got to clear the docks. Enjoy, enjoy the industrial noises. Somewhere there is always something backing up. Inescapably so. Really? I'm right here, buddy. All right, this, tr this truck wants it though. By the end of Pee Wee. I don't know if he's gonna make it to max to cap uh, dodge dodge experience. Sad. It's just hard because he's always taking damage. It's much easier to... Oh no! How could this happen? He dropped his skipper's bar.
All right, here we go. It's Dr. Brown in the brown run. Cool. I think now we need to do like some sleuthing or something. Well, first we gotta do some shopping. Get our final final loadout for the game. Raven cannot wait. Good enough. All right, so now we go to the bar, talk to people. I forgot actually, I forget, who is it we have to talk to? I think it might be the last person. Or we just talk to everyone, maybe. Menuing, the hardest part of RPGs. And then it activates a cutscene, security's coming, blah, blah, blah. And now I think we go back to the warehouse. gonna do it I'm gonna get it done are you supposed to watch Batman and Robin on the solstice is that the the appropriate time The first day of the year it goes next. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. I I respect that. That's a good meme. Only have to, only two, if you're lucky.
at it with your missile shits. Anyway, Blakewood's on our side now. Hooray. Really, Olsen? You think you can do this to me? To me? The poor guy running to get his parts fixed. Meanwhile, the, the truck is diving headfirst into death. Just, you know, you hate to see it. He like maimed all the, the majority of the remaining units in the battlefield. Quite vicious, to be honest. Mission complete. All right, three more stages. We're getting there. We're doing it. Taking it home. Are you sure? So anyway, uh, Koichi kills his father. It's quite brutal.
Yep, the war against cars. Another thrilling victory. Basically, I'm just throwing Ryuji's body here to ac activate their AI and move them forward a little bit. Yeah, Pee Wee just can't hang with him anymore. <laughs> just gets absolutely creamed. You had a good run there, buddy. Needed a shield or something. That truck is going to stay there forever. God damn it. So at this point, I'm going straight for that truck because I know it's not moving, whereas the rest of the enemies are going to be following me. It's so far away. There we go. Finally attacks me.
dude running around with no arms. I probably should have shot him, but I don't know. Seemed kind of mean. All right, there we go. That's the docks. To the airport. The airport is kind of the final full level. I mean, Long Rivers Island is full of enemies, but you only have to defeat the boss, which of course is what we're going to do. Poor Pee Wee can't even get up to the, the upper floors in this stage. Yeah, get him, Pee Wee. Oof. <laughs> All right, well, they got some good missile on there. Pee Wee ain't making it the max dodge. Sorry, Pee Wee. That's rough. gun drop my skipper's bar well you win some you lose some he took out two it's pretty good for him I mean, it's it's a Snickers bar with the the serial numbers filed off. You know, it's probably a bar for. I mean, it's, you're not you when you're hungry, I guess, right?
I think they should follow me up here because again, I want to go after the truck first. Also aggro the other enemies down. Play a little more conservative just because I've actually taken some damage. Dude almost broke my legs. <laughs> now, that would have been interesting. Yeah, take care. Get that. Get that sleep. Stay warm. Everyone on board, we got to go to Long Rivers Island. Very dramatic cutscene as we are given military aid to slide off. Sad helicopter. Well, because I think it's our, our our dad's probably going off to get court martialed, or whatever. Oh, did I get a mission complete for that? No, I guess I didn't. <laughs> All right, sure, whatever. I guess we're in like the finale sequence, so it doesn't money doesn't matter anymore.
All right, so anyway, Koichi's having a bad time working for the Zafterins. They have come. Which armored core is this? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, they, they would combine like that. It would be exciting. All right, good night, Pee-wee. For the last time, he has dropped his skipper's bar into the, the, de the bowels of Long River's Island. So at this point, I'm just going to play on the defensive and punch my way through when it suits me to. Well, here I'm going to sh shoot, but... I'm going to make a safety save. Driscoll. I think I'm going to date your time when your GD current is happening. I'm uh, barely to Discord. So, the, yeah, there is a time. It is going to be January 9th. At around uh, 6.55 a.m. Eastern time, so pretty early in the day, but that is the current scheduled time. If you go to games.quick.com slash schedule, you should be able to see the schedule. Uh, but yeah, it's Monday morning early, Monday, January 9th. Alright, he explodes. Oh, awesome. Well, there you go. 
Yeah, I know it's also going to be a good time for like the EU friends and everything. All right, so time ends on the fade out when I kill the boss. guarding those attacks because they could potentially take off an arm and I would like to live kill him instead I can block most of the damage basically all right good night sweet prince all right death is on time on the fade out and mash texts. There we go. Woo! GG. There you go, folks. Front mission first. Just over four hours with like b barely a route. <laughs> Could, I'm sure it could be optimized tremendously, but still done.